Okay, so I'm gonna try this Purple Rain uh, Premium Cake Mix by Duff. Um, I'm gonna make him in cupcakes, so hopefully I can get the same effect in a cupcake size. I've never used his cake mixes before, and I was reading just briefly on here, and it sounds like what you do is separate um, the white cake mix and then make a separate smaller purple cake mix. Um, I believe there's um, a purple color packet inside. It says squeeze the color packet into the bowl with the smaller amount of batter. So we're gonna give it a try and see what we can come up with. Um, what I like about this is you only need two tablespoons of oil and I'm out of vegetable oil, so I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil, which I did read you can substitute extra virgin olive oil for vegetable oils, and it actually is supposed to make your cakes more moist. So we just need to uh, grab one and, one and one third cups of water, two tablespoons of oil, three large egg whites, no yolks, um, and obviously two, that's for color, um, and we're going to uh, give it a try. Stay with us. Begin where it ends, and to begin, knock on that door so you can get in, and don't mind the time, forget all that's been. In the park, find a tree that will last. Find a secret path that leads to a house. Climb the stairs to the roof. Lay Hi, guys. I wanted to do a sneak peek of a future vlog. I'm um, going to work on an hour of code. I'm not sure if you've seen it yet. Okay, so we're making the Duff Purple Rain cake mix, and in this bowl, we've already uh, mixed the batter with three egg whites two tablespoons of oil and one and one third cup of milk. So I think at this time we're going to separate it so that we can make the purple. And on the box he states to divide the batter into two medium bowls, approximately two cups of batter in each bowl. Using a pair of scissors, carefully clip the small corner from the purple color packet and squeeze the color packet into one bowl of the batter and thoroughly mix. Okay, so let's go ahead and put two cups of batter in this bowl and we'll make this our purple. Okay, so we're going to make the purple portion of the purple rain. It includes this food coloring packet. So we're just going to drop that into two cups of the batter. And I don't know how you're going to do this without making a mess. I guess maybe I should wear thin gloves, but I'm going to have purple fingers, definitely. Let's see. Yeah. Not cute. Definitely got purple fingers. Now I almost think it would be cool just to mix it all together and just make purple cupcakes. I don't know how purple they would be instead of doing the, the purple rain stripe. I'm almost tempted just to dump it all together. But I wonder if it would come out more a lavender than a purple. That's a pretty color. Let's keep moving. Okay, so to get this effect, you pour some of the purple batter in, then the white batter, then the purple batter, then the white batter. Since I'm making cupcakes, that would like take forever. 
And you know, I do have homework to do. So I think what I'm gonna do is dump the purple into the remaining white and, and see what we end up with. It might be really light in color, but making, um, making the pinstripes sounds like it's gonna be a long process. Maybe what I could have done was marbled it, like you would make a marble cake, just kind of uh, put a drop of purple in each one and then kind of marbled it, but let's see what happens this way. I think we're going to get like a light lavender, which is still be cool. Still cool. Still purple. A shade of purple. All right, let's fill up our cupcake tin. Okay, purple cupcakes are gonna go in the oven and we'll see how they turn out. Cupcakes are done. We have lavender cupcakes. Remember the idea was to layer the white cake batter with the purple cake batter. Um, but I think that was just a bit too much to do with cupcakes, so I just made them all lavender. Not sure if I'd use the Duff cake mix again. Um, I love my Pillsbury cake mix. It's so easy, it always comes out perfect. Um, this cake batter was a little um, thinner than Pillsbury would be. Um, I probably overfilled a lot of the cupcake tins, um, but we'll give it a try. We'll see what it tastes like. I really just wanted the purple because I had this Funfetti, this Pillsbury Funfetti purple frosting, and I couldn't find the purple Funfetti cake. I know it exists. I have the blue and the yellow mix, but I couldn't find the purple, so that's why I went ahead with the Duff. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use the um, the little topping that came with the Funfetti for the cupcakes or if I'm going to use this sanding sugar that I found at Harris Teeter. They have so many awesome colors of this sanding sugar at Harris Teeter. I'm going to show you a little clip of that. I was like, I want one of every color. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get some frosting on the cupcakes and we'll decorate them and we'll go from there. Okay, comment down below, which one do you like? Do you like the one on the right with the topping from the Funfetti or do you like the one on the left with the sanding sugar? Let me know. Look, they're really purple inside. I'm gonna make some cupcakes today and this March of Dimes purple jumped out at me. Look at the colors of these um, sanding sugars to go on top of the icing. They are so cool. And all this at your local Harris Teeter. 